As you might be able to tell from the tricks, the stats and the settings in this line, it looks a bit different than how my gameplay normally looks and that's because we're on milky settings. So today we're testing out the GOAT setup and just check out this switchback heel. What you need to watch to get these settings is Milky's new mod guide, the Skater XL beta mod guide. In this video he shows you his settings for the XL mod, as well as the other working mods for the PC beta right now, which includes the Boned Ollie mod and Froze Experimental mod, where he also shows you how to install his settings, which is exactly what I did. Now we're currently skating the Macy's ledges and I have noticed a lot of things that I really need to get used to. One thing is Milky has some different Boned Ollie activities activation settings that I'm used to so for his high boned ollies he's actually going with the pop stick first and then the flick foot which really took me some practice and I think it's the same thing for like the boned kick flip and the boned heel flip but for the low settings it's all in the front foot so yeah maybe like that so that's a normal nollie heel and that's a boned milky nolly heel. Even four years later, I'm still an absolute noob when it comes to modding. And that's another thing that I really had to get used to with milky settings. For grinds, milky has upped the max angle to 20 and his torque force is 74, which I'm really not used to. And one part where that is very clear is my crooked grind. See, he's almost lifting up too high. To the point where like all the pressure's on the nose and the truck is kind of going up and not really getting that pinch. So I don't really know how Milky does that if he just kind of like lightly puts the pressure on it like that. But I see the benefit in like going for back nose blunts. And also the whole torque force thing, god damn. And also with the max angle, the way I've been normally doing no slides and also back tails. They look really weird now, so I gotta figure those out as well. I just think there's a bunch of like milky techniques that I'm not really used to. But it really helps getting to 70s out like that. What about a back susky front pub out? And then just look at these switch back heels but one thing is i never really liked my own bone mod settings i definitely like milky's a lot more let's just get a regular high pop kick flip it looks like that and then we'll try to get the uh, high pop boned milky kick flip oh my god that was a hard flip It's so weird for me to flick first with the pop foot, but I guess that was the uh, high popped boned milky flip. Sounds so weird to say high popped boned milky flip. But yeah, that was pretty sick. I like how the feet aren't too far away from the board. Maybe there's a slight clippage, but that might just be me. This is the regular high popped heel flip, and then we'll try to get the high popped boned heel. Oh my god. So that's the regular one. Let's just get the uh, light on even though it doesn't really do that much. But that's the boned one. <laughs> Night and day difference. I don't know if that was a boned heel. I don't think so. I'm having a real hard time doing Milky's technique. I don't know man. Was that it? I guess it was kind of a weird catch, but hey, that was a high pop boned milky backside flip. Ooh. That looked awesome. So first off, bone front side flip looked really awesome. And then we got the bone backside 360 kick flip. And we got some Chris Cole action going on there. The switch heel is activated with the flip stick only. So I guess that how that looks. Okay, you kind of got to figure out the catch to make it look good. Okay. Huge props to Milky for releasing this for free. Now I'm expecting the bone switch kickflip to work the same way. Okay, I got to figure that one out. <laughs> That one looks way better with the front side flip. Switch tray flip is turned off. Switch hard flip as well. Maybe the low switch kick flip looks better. And that's also activated with flip stick only. It 
look pretty good, but was that just the standard one? I mean, there has been slight changes here. So can we tell a difference from this one, the normal one, and then... Yeah, there is a slight difference, I would say. I've always had to spin a little bit into my lips, but I'm noticing that I don't really need that for Milky's. Otherwise, I'm gonna land a bit over-rotated. So you could just... See, even like that... That is so sick. That is how I would normally be doing a back lip input. And here it just automatically pulled us into a sugar cane. And it actually looked really good. But just look at this torque. Look at this torque. We could have like fake front 360 would out. See, there we go. Back lip sugar cane, fakey front side cap out. That is something I never would have landed unless I've tried out Milky settings. So I'm, I'm really happy I decided to do this video. I've actually been wanting to do it for a very long time. Despite me and a lot of others trying to keep up, I don't think we'll ever be able to really do so. And what was that? We switched back tailed all the way up and then we did a switch flip body barrel out. How sick was that? Did we just do it with the heel flip? It's not what I'm trying. That's what I was trying, but that was so bad. I have a lot of stuff to get used to, and I think, you know, this was just to test out Milky's kind of raw. I will be tweaking the settings and stuff to my liking, which is what I think Milky and, yeah, me for that matter, is recommending everyone to do in this game. But I just hope you guys enjoyed this video. Big props to Milky for providing all of us with like mod guides and his settings to get installed in the game. So everything just feels fresh and new. Until the next video, I hope you guys will have it good. Peace out. Boink.